Welcome back to my channel. Today we are at Lazy Days Campground in North Carolina, Cape Hatteras area. And I'm gonna help you understand if staying there is the right move for you. I'm gonna talk about the good, the bad, the things I loved, and the things that, well, you need to watch out for. Now, the Lazy Days Campground is one of several campgrounds in the area that I feature on my channel. And if you're looking at the video right now, you're wondering, what am I looking at? And that's the campground. It's located behind a storage unit. If you're looking for a campsite that has a ton of amenities like a pool, a play area, uh, access to the beach, well, you're in the wrong location because this does not have any of that. Let me start off by talking about a few positive things that I like about this campground, and it's the location. It's located in the central area that's close to towns, it's close to the lighthouse, uh, and not too far from the beach. However, it does not have a direct beach access, which is one of the native things, the things I really don't like about this campground. If you are familiar with the Cape Hatters area, you know that if you don't have a parking location that's close to the beach, getting to the beach is going to be a problem. This campsite does have a shower with six shower stalls and you can see it right there. It also has six toilets and all of that is on site. The next positive about this campsite, which could be a negative depending on your personality, is its size. It's one of the smallest campgrounds in the area. It only has 16 uh, campsites. So if you're looking for a more intimate location, well, this may be the right spot for you. Now this campsite is surrounded by several other campsites in the area. And here's my last positive that I'm gonna say. When it comes to price, it's not extremely expensive to stay there. When you compare to the campsites that are right next door, for the price that you spend at KOA for one night, you'll be able to stay here for almost an entire week. So that's another positive about this campsite. <laughs> Now, I feature a ton of campsites that are in the area and look at your screen because you're gonna start seeing them right now. And the major difference between these campsites and Lazy Days is the sheer volume of activities and things to do. Uh, one of the things that I really love about these other campsites is the fact that they have direct beach access. Um, also, if you're there with a family, they're family friendly, so you're gonna have tons of activities for the kids to do. And these are organized by the campsites. Also, these campsites have massive pools. Some of them look almost like Olympic style pool. So you have dark park, uh, sorry, dog parks, uh, you have uh, direct access to the beach, you have a ton of uh, things that they rent like, you know, bikes or ATVs and things like that. So there's a massive difference when it comes to that. Also, I can't overstate it enough. The fact that you can walk from these campsites and directly onto the beach like what you're seeing right now is literally uh, worth paying the extra money for. Another feature I feel that you give up by staying at Lazy Days is that beach feel. Part of the reason why I came to North Carolina was because I wanted to feel like I was at the beach. And a lot of these campsites, look at this campsite right here, Oregon Inlet Campsite, it is directly on the beach. And it's not very expensive, it's only about $30 per night. And you can walk from your campsite directly onto the beach and it's a beautiful uh, spot on the Atlantic Ocean. So I think by staying at Lazy Days, yes, you're gonna save yourself a little bit of money, but I think by what you're giving up, it's probably not worth your time. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.